William Camden and his literary works, an antiquarian and a historian. Hello and welcome to the discourse. Today we will discuss the major works of William Camden, who was the pioneer of antiquarian and a historian who wrote the first topographical survey of England. An antiquarian is an aficionado who studies antique things or antiquities to deduce historical facts. He wrote Britannia, which was the first chorographical survey of Great Britain. He was a prominent figure during the reigns of Queen Elizabeth I. His friend's circle included Sir Philip Sidney, Edmund Spencer and Ben Jonson, who was his student. Ben Jonson dedicated his play Every Man in His Humour to William Camden. Britannia William Camden was born in 1551 and he died in 1623. He is known for his three major works, two of which were written in Latin and one was written in English. His first work of importance was Britannia. It was published in 1586 in Latin language. He began preparing for Britannia in 1557. It was the record of a well-organized topographical survey of Great Britain and Ireland. He mentioned his intention with this book as to restore antiquity to Britain and Britain to his antiquity. In 1607, he published the sixth edition of Britannia in which he included detailed maps of all counties of England. Britannia is a county by county description of whole Britain and Ireland, which relates the history of England with its landscape, geography and antiquarianism. Camden tried to describe the then England in more scientific terms and how the antiquities of the past found in various parts of Britain describe the past history of Britain. In this way, he was able to depict the very first reasonable picture of ancient Roman Britain. He continued to improve and add more information to Britannia throughout his life. He travelled across England to each county to observe the artifacts and landscapes by himself. So it was a first-hand research and hence Britannia remained a very reliable historical account for centuries even after the death of Camden. Camden gained fame as a successful antiquarian and historian not only in Britain but in whole Europe and his work Britannia is even now considered an important work of Renaissance scholarship. Annals the second important work of William Camden was Annals Rerum Anglicarium at Hibernicarium Regnate Elizabetha. It was again published in Latin. This book contained historical account of reign of Queen Elizabeth. William Camden started working on Annals in the year 1607, four years after the death of Queen Elizabeth. This work was divided in two parts with four volumes. Book 1 to 3 comprised the first part which discussed the history of Elizabethan rule till the year 1558. All these three books were published in 1615. The fourth book or the second part contained the historical facts and information of the reign of Queen Elizabeth from 1588 to 1603 until her death. This fourth book was completed in 1617 but Camden got ill and it was not published till his death. The fourth book was first published in 1625 after Camden's death. In 1625, the English translation of the first three books of Annals by Abraham Darcy was also published, while the fourth book was translated by Thomas Brown and it was published in 1629. This book doesn't contain a serial narrative and Camden was accused of favoritism towards Queen Elizabeth and King James I. Remains Concerning Britain The third work of importance by Camden was Remains Concerning Britain. It was written and published in English. It is a collection of historical essays and it is considered as a, as a helping guide for Britannia. While Camden himself didn't like this work of his much and described it as rude rubble and outcast rubbish of his first work Britannia. But it became more popular and it is considered a separate work of historical worth. Remains Concerning Britain was first published in 1605 and it was again published twice 
during the lifetime of Camden in 1614 and 1623. The book continued to be published and used as a major historical resource even after his death. The last edition was published in 1870. So this is all about William Camden. Students should keep his three major works in mind as questions based on those works have been asked in SAT exams of previous years. Though nothing about Camden have been asked in NAT English exams till now. We will continue to discuss the history of English literature. Please stay connected with the discourse. Thanks and regards.